Okay, Aaron, what makes a great audiobook narrator? First and foremost is a great actor makes a great audiobook narrator. Um, you, it, there's all kinds of things that are said like, oh, you need to have a great voice and that's wonderful. That's a perk. But first and foremost, you have to be a great actor. Um, audiobooks have a heavy load of telling a story, creating tons of characters, and you need to be able to to do that and, and have fun with it. So I think that's really the number one thing that makes a great audiobook. Narrative. A lot of people talk about the cons of audiobook, that it takes so long. You have to read the book beforehand. Give us a pro. Oh, gosh, there's a lot of pros. Um, but that is that is true, and I do hear that. You know, it's a marathon. Audiobooks are a marathon, not a sprint, not a 30-second commercial. Um, but I also say you can audition for all of those McDonald's spots and you can still do an audiobook too. You, there's room for everything. And sure, audiobooks does take a, a little bit more time or a lot more time. But um, the beauty of audiobooks is you get to tell a story from beginning to end. You get to create so many characters in that story. You get to play so many characters that you don't get to play in other voiceover or especially on camera. So you get to carry a full cast. Um, and I think creatively for a lot of actors, it's really um, gratifying. Mm -hmm. So uh, audiobooks are really special in that way. Even on camera work, you know, you don't get to, you, you get to play your part that you're cast for. Um, and this, you, you really get to, to do everything. So you know how they always say like act say like, I can, I can do anything. I can play every part. And your agent's like, Ooh, no, you can't. Um, <laughs> cause you have a type, right? Right. Um, but in audiobooks, you can play every part. So I think that's sort of an actor's dream. And you can give an accent if you want to. <laughs> <laughs> if you can pull it off. <laughs> if you can pull it off. <laughs> Not I. <laughs> what does the future of audiobooks look like? You know, that's um, a question that's talked about a lot. I, I think the future of audiobooks, ch it, it's changing, and it looks a lot like what authors are giving us, right? Because authors are writing the material, and I think authors' styles are changing, and the way that they're approaching books is changing. So, you know, right now I see a trend in a lot of first authors that are writing in first person point of view. So from the I perspective, mm -hmm. and they might be giving many different point of views in a book. So, you know, the, the mom, the dad, maybe the kid, a teacher, there's different chapters that actually are written in a first person point of view, which allows a lot of actors potentially to be, you know, on that book and be cast. Um, also, I find that that listeners are really open to creativity with audiobooks. Um, it's some books have become like a movie for your ears. Mm -hmm. There are sound effects added. And I'm just saying this doesn't have to be this way. And maybe this isn't the future, but it's these, these possibilities have really opened up and become accepted um, and are enjoyable when they're used for the right material. But you know, maybe there's sound effects, maybe there's music, maybe there's, um, you know, you hear the door slamming when she says the door slams, just little things uh, like that have brought a new life to audiobooks. Mm -hmm. um, also, I think shorter form audio is coming up like podcasts. So, I mean, podcast listeners, as you know, here we are, um, people love this format. They love this sort of short, get some information in 30 minutes, maybe an hour tops. Um, and some people don't want to sit down and just be like, oh, I have this eight hour audiobook to read, to listen to. Mm -hmm. So to break it up into a shorter form content and maybe do something creative with it. So maybe it's not just reading a chapter every episode. Maybe you're kind of creating, like I said, a movie for your ears with each mm. episode. So I think 
podcasts and audiobooks are going to begin to morph together mm. in some way. Um, I don't know what that looks like exactly, but that's, I'm seeing that. Yeah. Sort of Interesting. Emerged. But, you know, with all of these like amazing creative opportunities that audiobooks are providing to actors, but also creative direction, there's really nothing that beats just a great narrator sitting behind a mic telling a great story. So sure, there's a future, but the original just reading a book is wonderful too. Mm, perfect. So, you know, going back to the basics is just nothing quite beats that. 